my interpretation of a Chinese dish. It contains beans, garlic, Sichuan pepper and minced pork normally, but we're going to do a vegetarianized version. The Chinese dish is from Sichuan, uh, a province in China which is famous for its spicy food, and it is called Gan Chao Si Ji Do. And Gan Chao means dry fried, and Si Ji Do is this a French bean, also called string bean or green bean, something like that. And these are the ingredients that you need for this recipe. First and foremost, of course, French beans garlic, so this is 230 grams of French beans, five cloves of garlic, then I'm using these corn pieces instead of using minced pork, and for the seasonings we have chili, Sichuan pepper, oyster sauce, and soy sauce. Just a note on this, um, these corn pieces are quite chunky, and the original dish has minced pork, so it's quite finely ground meat. And there are some vegetarian uh, meat substitutes that are finely ground, but I couldn't find those in our local supermarket. So I mean, it's fine to use these bigger pieces too, but it's not as close to the original dish as you, um, you know, as the ground meat. All right, we have chopped the ingredients, and now it's time to start the frying process. And I've already got some oil here in the pan heating up nicely. And the first bits that I'm going to add to this oil is the Sichuan pepper because I think it tastes better if it's fried. Maybe it should be fried. Who knows? I like it when it's fried. Sichuan pepper and garlic. Like it's browning up slowly, which is good. We don't want to overcook the garlic, but slightly brown color is good. Okay, time to put the beans in. Oh. Okay, once this is fried, I want to say one to two minutes, just about for a bit, uh, I'm going to add the seasoning sauces and I'm going to, so it makes it a bit moist and then we can steam it a bit. So I'll put a lid on after this. So this oyster sauce, <coughs> the chili is very strong, <coughs> but it's fine. Uh, I'm adding about one tablespoon of this. Uh, this is very salty, this stuff, so I don't want to overdo it. And then the soy sauce is also quite salty, but I'll add some of this as well. You can see there's a lot of steam that's going to develop. And I'm going to put the lid on so it can all steam a bit. I'm just going to give it a stir, and it does look a bit dry, so I'm going to add some water. You don't want it to stick to the pan or anything and it's... Woo! Alright. That's good steaming. Oh! Look at that sauce that has uh, developed. I guess it's a 
oyster sauce and the soy sauce have combined with the water and the bean juice and the fake meat juice. That's looking good. I will probably cook that for another maybe five minutes. I quite like it when the beans are shriveled up a bit. Possibly overcooked, I don't know, but I think that tastes good. And this is done. You can see that the sauce has evaporated now and everything is cooked. <laughs> Still very uh, chilly, steamy, but I think it's, it's going to be good. So there we go. <laughs> the finished product. Here it is. The final product. You can see all the uh, nice Sichuan pepper bits here and the chilies. The Sichuan pepper isn't really spicy. It's more like it's like lemony almost. It has like a, gives you a tingling sensation in your mouth, which is really amazing and sort of addictive. So we eat that a lot. And yeah, so I mean, no guarantees for the authenticity of this recipe because I've eaten this many times in Chinese restaurants and I really like this. And then I sort of just try to make it. Um, yeah, I might be missing ingredients. I might be doing the cooking all wrong. I don't know, but it tastes nice. And yeah, I would really recommend this. I am ready for the taste test. So we're serving this with some rice. Lovely. And look at all this Sichuan pepper here. I've actually got so much saliva in my mouth now because I'm so excited. Oh, mmm, it's so good. Why is this Sichuan pepper so, so lemony, citrusy? I don't know. Mmm, it tastes amazing. And it's not that spicy. I mean, the the chilies were creating a lot of chili steam. We were coughing while we were cooking it and filming it. But um, yeah, now that it's the finished product, it's actually not that spicy and it tastes amazing.